Hey folks, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to continue our Kubar series. That's our Copper Damascus K-Bars that we've been working on. Uh, in today's episode, I'm going to be doing handles, starting the handles and the guards. Won't be finishing them today. Uh, hopefully next week's build, we'll get them all done. Let's get right into it. All right, now the laborious process of hand sanding. I'm going to start with the fullers and I'm using a little half inch round piece that I've kind of beveled the edges and it fits nicely in the groove. Okay, it's time to do this area and this area here, because those you can never reach with the little piece. So what I like to do is take, I just have a punch, and uh, I just wrap the uh, sandpaper almost at the edge of the punch, and I'm really just going to use that edge, and then I can get right into that corner. The only problem is you got to keep going with the sandpaper quite often because it wears it out because you're right on the sharp edge. Here we are with the blades all hand sanded to 800. Uh, that's what took me so long in this part of the uh, of the build here because there's three of them. I didn't think you guys wanted to watch hours of hand sanding. Now we are on to the handles. So um, this is just the two different sizes, the big one and the, the, the five inch one. So um, before we get to the handles, I'm gonna do the guards. And for the guards, I've got this piece, this cutoff, of one of the Damascus um, pieces that we used. So you can see that this is, yeah, it's about the thickness of this, which is good. And you can see that it, it kind of comes up, there's like a taper here, which is nice because then it will expose the copper in these layers, which I think will look really cool. So that's what we're going to do. And I have this, I'm going to cut it down the center so I have enough for two of them. So the two Damascus blades will get this. And then the one that uh, doesn't have Damascus is just going to have a mild fitting, um, which you'll see what I'm going to do to the pommel. It's going to match all of them perfectly. Okay, so let's cut this up. And then we're going to go to the mill and do the slot. I like to drill multiple holes in the slot for the guard before I use an end mill. It, using a drill is just way, way faster than using an end mill. Then you can just go back and clean it up. Much, much faster, guys, and it saves your end mills. So I still have the guard and the pommel to make, but uh, I wanted to start thinking about the, uh, the stacked leather handle. So the first thing I need to do is these holes were just a little too narrow. These won't go in. So I'm just taking these on the drill press, widening them out so that they fit. Let's do that. So I've got all the leather pieces uh, resized, so these all fit well now. Um, now, I want to talk about how, how I'm going to squeeze these together. So what I want to do is get all these on here. I'm not going to just do it in front of you here, but get all these on here. I want to be able to press them all together. And of course, these are all going to be filled with um, epoxy. They're all going to be epoxied together. 
then you need to clamp them really tight. But I don't want to do it on the knife because then it's really hard to, there's going to be a guard on this, so it's really hard to, um, to form these. So what I want to be able to do is put them all in, clamp them down, and be able to slide the handle out. Because then, once they're all glued up together, I want to be able to, I'll probably drill a hole through the center, the very center that's a little bigger, put a threaded rod through, and then put them on the lathe, and then turn this shape with these little notches on the lathe. So how am I going to do that? So what I came up with was this. I just took these two pieces of angle iron, I kind of put them together, cut them on my, uh, my metal chop saw and then what I'm going to do is put this in here put these if I can get them on you know basically sit this in here glue them epoxy them all together I'll put some Vaseline why is this one so hard <laughs> put some Vaseline on the handle and then I'll clamp, at, at the end, I'm gonna clamp these together really, really tight, and since there's Vaseline on the handle, pretend this is really long, I'll be able to just pull that out. Nice. All right. So I've got my little contraption all set up. Um, I've actually already done this once off camera just to make sure it would work. And this is what I did the first time for this knife. Um, it's, it's a little smaller, so those are a few more rings, but it's perfectly aligned. It goes in, so uh, total success. Problem with this one is that it's a little longer than the tang. See, there's going to be a piece of all thread that's welded on the, the back here. So I'm actually going to do this one in two pieces and then do those together. So I'm actually going to be doing this twice to make two times and then two times to make two full handles. And of course I'm going to be using 24 hour epoxy for this. Uh, don't try to do this with five minute epoxy. I think it took me 20 minutes to do this one. So uh, five minute epoxy would be no bueno. I got my stacked leather handle all uh, epoxied up. I've got it on a 3 8 inch rod here and kind of bolted to it with washers on either side. Now I'm going to turn it on the lathe and I'm going to get that kind of hourglass um, shape to it. And then I'll also put in those grooves with a tool on the lathe here. Uh, I've already done one, the small one here, so that's what it's going to look like just as a test one. This one needs to be burnished a little more, but that's what it's going to look like. The more I have a lathe, the more I find uses for it. Using the lathe here for the handle was just a no-brainer. Being able to take this down to the diameter I needed really quickly, that was very, very useful. Now that I have it down to the right diameter, time to put those tapers into it. It also makes it really easy to sand it. So here I'm just taking some 220 sandpaper just to smooth it out. First, a quick measure to make sure I have them the right distance apart. Then I'm gonna use a lathe tool just to cut those grooves. Yep, that's right. I used a black Sharpie to put the color in the grooves.
and now some tan leather dye just to give it the right color. And finally, a burnishing tool to give it that nice, shiny, polished finish. So there's the finished handle. I like it. Hey folks, are you enjoying the channel but looking for a way to support it? Well, here's how. Join my Patreon. Here's all the perks that you're going to get. There's a link down in the description. I'd love for you to support the channel. So I have the slot milled in the guard. Um, this is for the small one. Uh, what I want to do next is to um, mill down kind of the, the bottoms of this so that it's got, which looks like a spacer. You'll see what I mean. But what I'm going to use is a ball end mill and just take off this area here. And then I'll come back with a flat end mill and just do that. Um, I wish I had a rotary table because then I would put this in and I would be able to spin this part, but I don't, so we're going to do it by hand. I decided it would make more sense to use the flat end mill and take it down and then just do the edges with the ball end mill. Okay, we're going to finish up here today, folks. Um, <laughs> the hand sanding on these just took a really long time, so it doesn't look like as much progress this week, but this was a lot of effort. Um, but here you can see the handle on the small one. I went a little darker on this one just because I thought it would look nicer. Remember, this is all going to be dark. Um, I still need to even up the guard, um, but I like the way the guard turned out. Um, obviously, there's still a lot of work to do on it, but um, with the copper showing through here, I think it's going to look uh, really cool. And then this one, uh, the guard's not on it yet, but the handle's a little more traditional. Um, yeah, I think they look good. I uh, can't wait to see them all etched. Hopefully, I can finish this off in the next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.